Welcome to 401k Real Chat. This is Fred Barstein, contributing editor at wealthmanagement.com's RPA Omni Channel and CEO at Trout, TPSU, and 401k TV. I invite the most interesting, innovative, and impactful retirement and wealth management professionals, asking them to provide open, honest, and candid answers to three important and difficult questions. So let's get real. Today, we are speaking with Dan Back, CEO and co-founder at 401Go. Uh, welcome, Dan. Hey, Fred. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Hey, Dan, the, the 401K uh, record-keeping industry is struggling to not only figure out how to service the explosion of small plans, but also deal with declining fees, increasing costs, and an increase in demand for more services. How do you think they can manage? Yeah, I think that it's a, uh, you know, there's a number of challenges. Uh, the the first and one that we're really focused on is definitely there's a there's an issue with kind of just the complexity of administration. Um, so a lot of the the platforms that are being used today by your um, you know incumbents in the 401k space, these are platforms that were built 20, 30 years ago and have been um, upgraded over time. But in many ways, the the technology is still very dated, and so. Uh, at 401Go, we have the benefit of, of being able to use um, modern technology uh, to, to overcome some of those obstacles. And the whole idea there is to reduce a lot of the administration and the, the complexity that's associated with the 401K. Um, but then another big aspect uh, that we see can potentially be a challenge is um, just the, the distribution of, of 401Ks. So they're traditionally sold by retirement plan advisors. And you know we, we know that, that those numbers are declining. Uh, there's not nearly as many of them. And so it's imperative to look at additional distribution methods. So whether that's through payroll, um, you know, the, the way that Paychex and ADP has been doing it for some time, uh, as well as activating, um, you know, just the, the the more common wealth advisors where there's far more of them, but maybe they're, you know, they've been turned away because of the administrative complexity. So for us, we really see those two big challenges, technology, um, and then just the distribution channels. And we need we need to innovate in both areas. You came from the e-commerce industry where you said margins were a robust two to three <laughs> percent. Um, what lessons um, that you learned are transferable to the 401k industry? I love how you've um, you've used this analogy before where we're going to be judged not by other financial institutions or services being offered by like your traditional incumbents, but more the experience we have with like Amazon and Venmo. Um, and, and that's really where my background has been is in, in a space uh, where you're expected to have a very competitive price and products delivered in, in you know, a, a few days, if not hours. And so I think a lot of those um, same demands are, we're starting to see them show up more in financial services. There are those expectations. And so if we can deliver on those expectations, then we're going to hopefully deliver better outcomes and the experiences that those individuals want. Um, for us, in order to you know, be able to survive on a two to 3% gross margin, we had to have extensive amounts of automation when it came to transactions. So uh, we built very large, complicated ERP platforms um, that would manage uh, catalogs of products. Uh, it would automatically handle shipping and distribution. And so we took, again, you know, commerce and, and distribution is, again, it's a very, it can be a complicated product, complicated industry. And by leveraging information, um, you know, the same way that Amazon and these other big e-commerce platforms have, uh, we're able to survive on a on a small margin, and so we've taken a lot of what we learned there, and we're applying it here within uh, the financial services industry and retirement in, in particular. So you started Four One Go in 2019. Recently raised 12 million Series A funding. Congratulations! Uh, what niche do you see Four One Go filling? We focused first and foremost on the small and micro market. So those uh, startup plans um, or plans with you know uh, lower headcounts and uh, less assets. And the reason why is because that's always been you know if you're a financial advisor, a retirement plan advisor, and you're selling four hundred one ks, your your compensation is largely tied to assets. And so the the challenge with the startup or these small plans is they're they're low in assets, and so there's just really no appetite. Uh, for those advisors who are kind of the, the tip of the spear when it comes to distribution to go down market. 
And so by you know building a platform where we can automate a lot of those functions from plan setup to the ongoing administration, it reduces that hurdle that that uh, hurdle um, for those advisors to where they can now stand up a plan in a matter of minutes. Um, and so for us, we've we've been able to help close that access gap. Uh, but we're you know as a fintech, uh, one thing that we've decided from day one is really how do we also still involve the financial advisor? So that was kind of a big question mark is can we deliver an effective solution that can be delivered at scale, but also have that human element and work with advisors that traditionally may only go after two or three plans a year? Um, how do we help them kind of deliver at scale? And so that's really been our focus is just that that small to um, medium-sized business. And we felt that if we can provide a good solution for that, that can also scale up. And so we do have advisors now that are bringing us plans, which we consider very large. You know, the industry may call them small still, but we're looking at plans you know, over 20 million in assets, thousands of employees. Uh, and so a lot of our advisors that have been using us for several years are now starting to take us up market. But again, our, our, our design and our focus really from day one is how do we build an effective solution for small to medium sized businesses, um, which also you look at the workforce within those types of organizations, they tend to skew younger, more entry level hourly wage uh, based employees. And, and that's a segment that's also been uh, oftentimes overlooked in, in corporate America. And so our focus has been on those types of businesses, those types of workers, uh, as well as involving a financial advisor in those plans. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I've been talking with Dan Beck, CEO and founder of 401Go. Uh, thanks for joining today, Dan. Thank you, Fred. It's been uh, fun. Thanks for watching Wealth Management's 401K Real Chat. Stay tuned.